Hey everybody, I've been getting more and more requests for a full walkthrough of how I build these dashboards in Excel. And I just wanted to show you a quick version of this tiny little mini dashboard here. You probably have 90% of these skills already, you just might not have applied them this way. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you the whole process start to finish. So first things first, we're just going to choose a background color. The first thing I do is I block out the general design that I'm going to have. So under the insert tab, we're going to grab a rounded rectangle. Looks like we want to go a little higher. In the upper left, you can adjust the roundness. Select white and then just turn the transparency up. In this case, we'll do it, you know, 85% or something. And then I'm going to make sure there's no line on there, no outline. Okay, so I'm just going to control C, control V, paste this in. And I know I've got two sections here. One's a little bigger, one's a little smaller. So first I'm going to get the bigger one in place and then I'm going to control C control V again so I have the smaller one. The reason I'm copying and pasting these is just to save myself a little bit of time but also because when you copy paste these and just change the height you still maintain the same width which is nice for organizing your page. It's really important to take the time to uh, organize your pages, take the time to make sure that everything is evenly sized. Uh, it's going to go a long way to making a page look a little bit more professional. So now I've got a rough base. I want a little more contrast though. So in the top one, I'm gonna click in, select gradient fill. Once you got that color, we're gonna make this a little transparent as well. Transparency is a great way to make your color schemes feel like they all kind of mesh together a little bit better. For this bottom part, I think we wanna do this in a, we'll try like a blue. So now we've got a base and we have to start layering everything in. First things first is we wanna layer in our text. When you're layering in text, kind of think of this like you would in PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, you wouldn't use all the same size font. Get creative with it. So for our titles, first thing we're gonna do when we drop the text box in is make it transparent. Go in and start styling it. We'll make it white. And then let's try changing the font type. And you know we need this a lot bigger because this is like the focal point of the whole dashboard. If we were making a PowerPoint slide or something, we wouldn't use the same font over and over again. We'd have headings and subheading size fonts. So what we're going to then do is we're going to have a subheading here. We're going to use our subheadings to describe things. It's important to give clear, concise explanation in your dashboards. Use text, over explain instead of under explain. Then what we're going to do is we want this as a subheading. This isn't as important of a piece of text. So we're going to, in this case, we're going to make the font light and we're going to bring the size down. All right, next we want to add a lit, the same kind of title for the other section as well. So I'm just going to copy paste that, say sales by product or by region, I think is actually what this one's gonna be. The next thing we wanna do is drop in our metrics. So the way I do this is a little trick that everybody should know in Excel, and it's inserting a cell value into a shape. So we're gonna copy our text over like this. We're actually gonna delete the text out of it. In our function bar, we're gonna hit equals, then we're gonna navigate over to our data, click on the cell we want in it, hit enter. And what this has done is it's just inserted the value from the cell in here. And now we can style it and change sizes. But whenever that cell value changes, the value in this shape is gonna change. So typically if you show a metric, the first thing you should ask yourself is what is the next question somebody's gonna ask when I show them this metric? In this case, we're showing somebody sales information and the first thing people tend to ask is, is that higher than it was last month or lower than it was last month? And is it higher than usual or lower than usual? Drop that in again, now this is dynamic. It'll update as the value updates in the cell. So something really important to consider when you add metrics. Metrics change, they get bigger, they get smaller. So leave padding on the right hand side so that your metrics have room to grow. All right, great, I'm liking the look of this. I am going to turn this into a gradient from white to transparent. And I'll show you why I'm doing this in just a second. So fully transparent on one side and then on the other side, mostly transparent. Great, and we're gonna shrink this down. And I'm just gonna use that as a little divider on the page. And this is where I'm now gonna put the chart that we wanna put on this page. So I'm gonna navigate over to our pivot tables. Uh, I already have a pivot table in here, but it's if you have used pivot tables before, you just have to insert the pivot table with the data you want in your chart. So I'm gonna click into this pivot chart. And I'm gonna go under the pivot table analyze tab. And I'm gonna hit pivot chart. It's gonna generate a chart with the data in that pivot table that is now tied to that pivot table. It'll update dynamically. I'm gonna just uh, control X, cut it and paste it over into my dashboard and then start doing edits to make it look good. So in this case, I don't want a bar chart. I want a line chart. In fact, I actually want an area line chart. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to design. We're gonna go to change chart type and we're gonna turn this to the type of chart I want. 
There we go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the background. No fill, no line. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to update my fonts. Delete this label because it's not helpful. So I'm going to give this a gradient fill. Uh, just I, it's an effect people tend to like. I think it looks more interesting in this case. And this looks really good, but there's a couple little tweaks I want to make. I'm going to lighten up the bars in the background because I think there's just too much contrast there. And I like to sometimes just make these dotted. There's an option to make everything dotted or dashed. Now, here's a trick. I really like this fill. I think it looks really cool, but it's there's something we still need. And I want to have a line plotted over this. So I'm actually going to copy this whole chart, paste it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hit change chart type under the design. And I'm just going to turn this into a standard line chart. Now on the standard line chart, I'm going to delete everything but the series itself. And then I'm going to turn the line to the color I want, in this case white. And we have to update the line. We also have to update the marker to be white as well. Now we've got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now drop this over my other chart and just adjust it a little. There you go. And because these are, oh, excuse me, because these are both tied to the same um, pivot chart, as they update, they'll both update in the same way. So they're going to always match up. All right, and then I've got this little sales by region section where I want to drop another chart in. So we're going to go over to our pivot tables. I've already created the pivot table again for this. I'm going to click into here, insert a pivot chart, navigate over to the design tab, and you can change chart type. In this case, I want a horizontal bar instead of a vertical bar. Cut and paste this over. Awesome. And we're just going to get it kind of fit it in first. So I'm going to delete the title. I'm going to delete the legend. So now we're going to take out the background. So we're only working with the chart. Update our font colors so that they're white. OK, I don't really like the color. So let's try a um, let's try the gradient fill on this and see what it looks like. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, and then I also want to give it a little line. I'm going to give it a little white outline. Let's go like one and a half and make it a little transparent so it's not so bright. What else do we want to do to tweak this? Well. I like this little spacer up here. I copy paste that. Do the same thing down here. Great. So we've got a nice little dashboard here. And it didn't take all that long, right? We did this in a few minutes. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Hope that was helpful. I'll be back with more next week. Bye.